ונכי טוני, שלום ויריח, לכל האדמים הטובים, איש יבואו את יוטיוב צ'אנל אשלי. אפס על צ'אנלי, יש דיברים כנענים פונים. יום מדי יום יתשמע את דיברים ויכולי כי קדום. עם אפ אנחנו בשעת אלפיים עשרים ושתיים לאדוננו ישוע המשיח. Today we're going to talk about the Ur ivory box lid Phoenician inscription from the 7th century BC. And here you see a few flags. So this Phoenician inscription, this is the Phoenician flag for those who have seen my uh, previous videos. So this is a Phoenician inscription that was found in Iraq. Here we have the flag of Iraq in Ur. And this Phoenician inscription is now present in the British Museum in England. And this is the uh, flag of the United Kingdom. Uh, the person talking about this inscription is a Lebanese, and he's living in New Zealand, where he is uh, producing this video for you. You may uh, recall that I have started with a Phoenician uh, greeting to you. I'm not going to give you the translation of uh, this uh, Phoenician text that I have composed uh, for you. I will leave it to the end of this video presentation. So now we move on to the next slide. Here I'm providing you with the photo of this famous ivory box uh, lid uh, and with the Phoenician uh, inscription inscribed on it. And we see the number of the museum and another number here. I'm not going to read the inscription now. I'm going to leave it for later on. And here I am providing you with another photo, but with a closer look uh, on this uh, inscription or this uh, ivory lid uh, box. You can see uh, letters and you can see here uh, that there is some damage to this uh, inscription link in here. Also, there's damage here and there is damage there. And what is interesting about this uh, inscription is that the words are separated by dots, which makes this the reading of this inscription quite uh, easy. Uh, again, uh, all these photos and the information that will follow in the few following uh, uh, slides are taken from the uh, British Museum. Here in this uh, slide and in the following slides, I'm going to provide you with uh, the information that the British Museum has uh, on uh, this uh, ivory box lead Phoenician inscription and how it is catalogued in the uh, British Museum. The object type is a votive offering, it's a box. The museum number is 120528, which you have seen on the inscription. What's the description? It's an ivory box lid with incised Phoenician inscription, and there is also a knob handle, and it's a votive offering. The cultures, the periods for this, um, inscription uh, or box lid is the RMH. Production date is thought to be between 700 BC and 600 BC. The excavator field collector is Sir Leonard Woolley, 1926-1927. The find spot, excavated find spot, is in Nanar Ningal Temple in the city of Ur. It's located in Asia, the Middle East, in Iraq, in the southern part of Iraq in Nanar Ningal Temple in Ur. The materials are ivory. The technique of the inscription is incised. More information about this archeological find, again, all taken from the uh, British Museum. What are the dimensions of this ivory box and the inscription? The height is 5.2 centimeters. The length is 11.5 centimeters. The weight is 60 grams. 
The width is 11.5 centimeters. The depth is 1.5 centimeters. The inscription type, it's an inscription. The inscription language is Phoenician. The inscription script is alphabetic, not cuneiform. The inscription transliteration as provided by the British Museum is as follows. I have a different reading uh, in uh, later on uh, uh, slides. Aron, Zen, Migenna, Amot Bal, Bit Pat Isi, Amot Adonunu, Matat Larstarte, Adati, Tibrokia, Biome, Adonunu, Ben Lasod. Inscription translation This box, Amat Bal, daughter of Pat Isi, slave of our master presents to Ashtart, for this may she bless me in the days of our master, three points, son of Yasod. Inscription note, votive inscription to the goddess Ishtar or Astarte. It's not for Ishtar, the Mesopotamian goddess, it's for Astarte, the Phoenician goddess. This slide uh, uh, again, uh, completes the information about this inscription as um, um, can be found on the uh, British Museum uh, website. What are the bibliographic references? Burroughs, 1927a, Phoenician inscription from Ur, from page 791 to 794, and in volume 8. Barnett and Davies, 1975a, a catalogue of Nimrud ivories with other examples of ancient Near Eastern ivories, U.11. Mitchell, TC, 1991a, the Phoenician inscribed ivory box from Ur and the wrong number 125028. Location, present location of this um, uh, inscription, it's not on display. Exhibition history was exhibited in 2018 between May and September in Hong Kong, Hong Kong Museum of History and Age of Luxury. In 2016, from 17th of June to 25th of September in Durham uh, University Oriental Museum, Daily Life in Ancient Lebanon. In 2007 and 2008, from the uh, 6th of October 2007 to the 20th of April 2008, in Paris, uh, l'Institut du Monde Arabe, Phoenicians and the Mediterranean. Exhibition latest discoveries at Ur, BM 1927. More information from the British Museum about this Ur ivory box, lead Phoenician inscription. It's present in the Middle East Department of the British Museum. The big number or BM is 120528. Its registration number is 1928,1009.11. Additional IDs for this uh, archaeological find is excavation slash small finds number is U.7801, which is the excavation number. Miscellaneous number is U.11, which is the catalog number. This is the uh, last uh, slide in which I'm going to provide you with the information about this inscription as can be found on the British Museum website. Condition is incomplete as we only have the lid of this box. Associated names with this inscription, named an inscription, Ishtar. I don't think Ishtar was named, anyway. Name an inscription, Astarte. Astarte is the Phoenician goddess. Named an inscription, Amod Baal or Amad Baal, presenter of the box. Named an inscription, Pat E.C., the mother of Amod Baal. Acquisition name, Division of Files, Department of Antiquities of Iraq. 
and the acquisition date is 1928. Comments on the inscription. Why is a Phoenician votive ivory box present in a Mesopotamian temple? This box may have been carried by a trader, an immigrant, or an Assyrian army soldier as booty from a temple of Astarte in Phoenicia. This box was found in Nanar Ningal temple in Ur, under the floor of the temple that was repaired or rebuilt by Nebuchadnezzar II, or Nebuchadnezzar the Great, who ruled Babylonia from 605 BC to his death in 562 BC. He is famous in the Bible for destroying Jerusalem and Solomon's temple in it, and for exiling the Jewish nation to Babylon. Therefore, the box was found in the temple's Assyrian domination era layer. This box is believed to be from the 7th century BC and also to have originated from likely the city of Byblos. You will notice the marks separating points after every individual word, like in the Kilamuwa inscription from the 9th century BC. See my previous video. The name of the master of Amod Baal. The name of the master of Amod Baal is not clear in the inscription due to some damage. The name of the master of Amod Baal starts with an aleph and ends with an aleph. I looked this up in my books and came up with a name, Alupishado, pronouncing the last aleph as an O due to the Canaanite shift of A to O. I have added this name to make the inscription complete. Forgive me, Amod Baal, if I was mistaken with this choice of mine. Now we come to the uh, inscription itself and its writing in uh, using the Hebrew alphabet here and here using the modified Latin alphabet. This inscription is, uh, carries the number 29 in the classification Canaanite Aramaic inscription. Number 29, I'm sorry if I pronounced the, the German wrong. So this is the inscription written in the Hebrew alphabet. Again, uh, this is not Hebrew, this is Phoenician, uh, written with the Hebrew alphabet. And I'm going to read it to you. Arun Shen Migenna Amod Baal Bit Pat Isi Amod Alopishado Matat Larstarte Addati Tibrochio Biomeo Adonenu Alopishado Ben Yasod The Phoenician inscription written using the modified Latin alphabet would read again saying Arun Shen. Some reading um, use the, the letter z, z, uh, z instead of sh uh, because of the damage in the um, box, as I showed you before, and as I'm going to show you in the next slide. So let's read again Arun Shen or Arun Len, Migenna Amod Ba. But easy, amot alopishado, matat la starte, adati, ibrochio, piomeo, adonunu, alopishado, ben yasod. Again, the numbers here are the lines, so there are two lines on this inscription. This is a photo of the Phoenician inscription that we are going to now read uh, together. Arun, Shen or Zen, here we can see that it's a bit of damage, so we can't tell really for sure whether it's Shen or Zen. We can, we, we can guess here the letter Nun. And you know we have those dots that separate the letters. So Arun, Shen, let's read it as Shen, Migenna, Amot Baal, Bit Pat Isi, Amot. 
we only have the Aleph of the um, name of the master. That's why Lalo Pichado, so it's, it's damaged here. We, we can't tell the name. It's first line, second line, Matat la Ashtarte. See the box? Adati. Tibrochio. Dot. Yomeyo. No? Adonunu. That's why we have only the last Aleph of the name. That's why Lalo Pichado. Bin. This is B. Nun Yasod. This is again another reading of the inscription, and uh, this is the transliteration. Arun Shen or Arun Zen, Migenna, Amot Baal, Bit Put Isi, Amot Alopishado, Matat Rajtarte Addatiya or Addati. That here is the ancient reading. Tibrochio or Tibrochio, Piomeo, Adonenu, Alopishado, Ben Yasod. Here in this slide, I'm going to provide you with an English translation and also a French translation of this inscription. The first line reads Ivory casket or ivory box, which Amod Baal daughter of Pat Isis, maid servant of Alopishado, offered, second line, as a gift to Astarte, her lady. May she, that is Astarte, bless in his days our master Alopishado, son of Yasod. A French translation would read, first line, Coffre d'Ivoire qu'a offert à Modbal de Pat Isis, servante de Alopichado, ou Alopichado, en tant que don pour Astarte, sa maîtresse. Puisse-t-elle, c'est-à-dire Astarte, bénir les jours de notre Seigneur Alopichado, fils de Yassod. An Arabic translation would read Sundouk al Aji, al Azi Kadamatu Amot Baal, bin Fat Isis, or Pat Isis, Khadimat Alopishado, or Alopishado, Hadiya le Ashtarte Rabbatiha, Murtajiatan al Baraka, le Sayidiha Alopishado, or Alopishado, Bin Yasud, Tula Ayami Hayatihi. Comments on this inscription, uh, Phoenician vocabulary. First words. I have chosen today is that the first word of the inscription is Arun. A similar word in French would be Un, and it's the word used for jar. Aron in Hebrew, it means box, basket. See Ahiram inscription, which is my first video on YouTube. In Arabic, it is Sanduq au Tabut. Chen. Same in Hebrew means tooth or elephant tooth that is ivory. In Arabic, sin or sin al fil ay al aj. Migenna, all these words are from line one. Migenna, same in Hebrew, meaning to give, to present, to hand over. In Arabic, addama, ata, ahda. Or bin in Arabic. Same in Hebrew means daughter in Arabic, Ibna. Amot or Ama in Hebrew meaning a female slave, female servant, a female devotee, or a god or goddess. In Arabic, Ama wa ta'ani khadima aw abda. Comments on inscription, more Phoenician vocabulary. Matat in line two, meaning a gift. Matthew, the evangelist, name is from the same root. Name Matatiyahu or Matatiya, which means gift of God or gift of Yahweh. God. In Phoenician, a similar name would be Miton Baal. Miton Baal, meaning gift of Baal. Miton Ashtarte, Miton Ashtarte, 
meaning gift of Astarte. Adati, my lady, feminine version of Adon. Adon, Adat. Adon is master, lord. In Arabic, Adati would be Sayyidati. Tibrochio or Tibrochio from Barach or Barak, meaning to kneel, to bless. In English, this would mean, may thou bless him. In Arabic, likay to bariki. Allo pishado, meaning, shado is my friend, or shada is my friend. Arabic words of the same root, alif, alfa, walif in uh, spoken Arabic, meaning domestic, companion, same, friendly, domesticated, pet, gentle, intimacy, affinity, familiarity, and love. Comments on the, this inscription, Phoenician grammar, suffixal pronouns, al-dama'ir al These do not exist in English or French, but they exist in Arabic, um, Phoenician, and Hebrew, and somehow also in uh, Latin. I've chosen to you today three words that appear in this uh, inscription. The first one is Adati or Adat. Adat. Adati is my lady. It used to be pronounced in the uh, archaic form as Adatiya in Canaanite. So Adati is my lady in the common Phoenician dialect of uh, the Syro Sidonian dialect. My lady. Adatika is your lady, so that's for the second person. For the third person is Adatio, his lady. In Biblian Phoenician, which is the, uh, the other Phoenician dialect, is used to be pronounced as Adatiwo, Adatiwo, rather than Adatio. So Adatiwo in Biblian Phoenician means his lady. Adatiya is her lady in using the feminine form. Adatinu is our lady. Adatikom is your lady in plural forms. Adatinom is their lady. Yomeyi. Yomeyi are my days. Yomeka, your days. Yomeyu, his days. In Biblian Phoenician, it would be Yomehu. Yomenu, our days. Yomekom, your days in the plural. Yomeyom, their days. Again, so we move from the word Adat to Adon. Adoni, my lord. It used to be archaically Adonia. Adoni is my lord. First person, archaic form Adonia. Adoneka. Is your Lord or Adonesa, your Lord? Adoneyo, his Lord. In Biblian Phoenician would be Adonewu, his Lord. Adoneya is her Lord, third person feminine. Adonenu, our Lord in plural. Adonekom or Adonekom, your Lord. Adonenom, their Lord. So you can see just by pronouncing these, uh, you can change the, the whole meaning of the inscription. And this was quite clear between uh, my reading of the inscription and how it was read initially uh, in, as provided by the British Museum. So this is some idea about the um, suffixal pronouns in Phoenician. Now it's time to end the suspense and to give you a translation of the greeting uh, to you that I uh, have started with this video presentation today. In English, it reads, I am Tony. Peace and welcome to all the good people who enter my YouTube channel. Only on my channel, the Canaanite Phoenician language is still alive. 
Day after day, you hear this language spoken by me, like in the ancient times, although we are now in the year 2022 of our Lord Jesus Christ. In French, it reads, Je m'appelle Tony. Hey et bienvenue à tous les bons gens qui visitent ma chaîne YouTube. Seulement sur ma chaîne, la langue cananéenne phénicienne est toujours vivante. Jour après jour, vous entendez cette langue de ma propre voix, comme jadis dans les temps anciens, malgré que nous sommes maintenant en l'an 2022 de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. En arabe, Ana Tony, salamun wa marhaban, li jamia an nas al tayibin al lazina yadkhulun qanati ala YouTube. فقط على قناتي اللغة الكنعانية الفينيقية ما تزال حية ترزق يوما بعد يوم تستمعون لهذه اللغة تنطق بصوتي كقديم الزمان بالرغم من أننا في العام 2022 لميلاد سيدنا يسوع المسيح Uh, this is the greeting to you again in Phoenician as written by me um, using the Phoenician letters. Anichi Tony, Shalom Oyari, Lichol ha Adamim ha Tobim, Ish Yebu Ayet YouTube channel Ish Li. Epes al Chaneli, Ish Dibarim Kananim Onim, Yom Midde Yom. Yit shema ayet dibarim, bi koli, ki kadom, im ab, anahnu, meshat al time, ashrim ushtem, li adonenu, Yeshua hamashir. Here I'm providing you with the uh, Ur Phoenician inscription as written by me, and you have the chance to listen to this um, inscription for the last time. Or ivory box inscription, Kai 29. Arun Shen Migenna Amot Bal Bit Patisi Amot Alo Pishado Matat Lashtarte Adati Ibrochio Yomeo Adonu Alo Pishado Ben Yasod. These are my references for this uh, inscription. Please note uh, this link to the British Museum. Thank you again for listening to my uh, presentation today. I hope to meet you next month with another uh, video presentation to you. May God bless you all and keep you safe. Thank you.